Ah, hello, my sisters, my brothers, again. It is me, Pastor Sister Magdalene, Emily Tanoi. I am back. Yes, I'm very sorry because I, I was not finished. I couldn't finish it very quick. It was just only 15 minutes. God bless you. God bless you. God is good all the time. Hallelujah. Amen. My sisters, my brothers, I was talking about, uh, about hair. Yes. Because it is true. Let us talk the truth. How can somebody just go in a shop? You know, if you don't know, it is something you don't know because you are still in the world. But if you hear servants of God are preaching, telling you, you know, the truth. You know, the truth always comes when somebody gives his life to Jesus Christ. It, when you just give your life to Jesus Christ, it's because you are tired. You are tired in the world. Now you are a child of God. So when you are a child of God, it is time to change everything. It is time, time to change everything. Because we hear the book of God says, the Bible says that, do you know that your, your own body is the temple of God and is the temple of Holy Spirit? So, if you don't know, you know maybe before you are in the world you don't know. But now because you are a child of God, you are born again, you are giving your life to Jesus Christ. You know there are many things which uh, we have to deny them. They are not easy to deny. I know. I know. But in the name of Jesus Christ, when we believe in the Lord, Jesus Christ, we are going to live it. Because when somebody is going to be born again, it, that, that means that he's tired with the world. He's changing his life. Maybe you are a drunker, maybe you are a prostitute, maybe you are um, a thief, maybe you are so wicked, maybe you are a hater, you just hate people, maybe, you know, you are doing things which are terrible, catastrophic. By the time you give your life to Jesus Christ, things have to change. You know, when, when, when you give your life to Jesus Christ, things have to change, your life has to change, the Lord change you. You are no more for the world. You are no more um, doing those things you are doing. And also, your body, you have to change your body. Because if you are doing the things of the world, you have to leave those things and do the things of Lord. One thing, to obey the word of God. The secondly, to look smart in Christ. There is a way Christians, they wear, they dress on. And there is a way... Who believers they dress on. You see, the people of the world they dress on different, and the people of Christ they dress on different. So if you if you give your life to Jesus Christ and you come now, you are a child of God, and then you are you are still remaining the same like those times you are in the world. You are still dressing on like those times. You are you are putting those uh, wigs. How I was preaching now about wig. You are putting those uh, with worn. You are making. Uh, you are putting those masquerade hair. You are putting those satanic hair, which you are putting those times in the wall. And then again, you continue putting in, and you are born again, a child of Christ. It is not working like that. Somebody, you have to change your life because the Lord have changed you. So you leave the things of the world and, 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 and your life be different. Yes. Yes. You change how you eat. You change how you sleep. Maybe you are sleeping different way. Oh. <laughs> Maybe you are coming, you are a drunk and you just fall down. Pow. Because you are drunk, you fall down. You just, yeah. That is in the world. Eh? Or uh, putting all those things which are uh, uh, like a uh, painting mouth. Like a daughter of Jezebel, you know, and uh, makeup, many things. You have many colors in the face. You have blue, you have green, you have red. Even nobody knows your face, how is it, which color do you have? Yeah? It is like those people who are dancing for masquerade. Because them, they like putting this, this uh, satanic hair, this with one hair. This hair, I'm telling you, my sister. I was telling you, believe it or not. This hair, you know what? This hair... It has satanic inside. I repeat it again. The people who are selling those hair, maybe they are poor. Maybe they don't have food. Maybe somebody was mad. Maybe somebody was even healed, and then he gets sick and gets mad. You know, they have to cut the hair. They will not throw the hair in the dustbin. They go and take it in their temple. 
the temple where they, 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 they pray idols. And you can see it in internet. Just click. I saw it one time. Just click my hair. And you will see exactly people are in the line. Sitting there, cutting their hairs. Pua, 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 pua. And there are people who, they are business people. They go collect it. Oh, they want money. They will go and collect it. They will wash them. They will make it in machine. And they will bring it in Europe. They will come and sell it. An African beautiful lady, she will put those hair. Just, just look it one time. When you are just moving on the street, yeah, look at the person who is putting on wig. You can see that wig, or that's a human hair. It is a very old thing in the head, maybe three months in the head. This woman will be scratching her head every time. Every time. And even if she go and sing for Lord, worshipping Lord, praising Lord, she will sweat. You will sweat, my sister. You will sweat, my brother. You will sweat, you will sweat. And those hair will smell. They will stink. They will smell. And even sometimes the doodles catch them. I don't know what they call the doodles in English. Um, loise. They call it in Germany loise. This uh, small uh, doodles, insect. The insect, they will enter inside. And you are a child of God, you are going to church. You put those satanic hair. Those satanic hair have a bad spirit, oh. Eh? Those satanic hair have a bad spirit. If you go to your house, before you sleep, even if you are a married woman, you are carrying those things, eh? When you go in your house, you are going to sleep, you, you start to remove that head extra to put it behind, and then you will tie a scarf. Why you didn't tie that scarf in the daytime? Why you didn't die, tie that scarf when you are going in the church? Now you are going in the bed, you tie your head. You put that parike, you are weak. Outside you put, not outside, you put it beside you. So tomorrow you put it again in the head. It smell. My sister, if you have parike, you have weak, you have satanic hair, remove it in the name of Jesus. Jesus will help you, will remove it. Jesus will help you remove it. It is not that it's com I'm commanding you, or rather women who are preaching, they are commanding you. No. These hairs, it is true, they are not for you. That hair is not for you. I'm telling you, Master, look at me very well. That hair is not your own. You like it or not, it's not your own hair. Leave those hair and keep your own hair. Wash your hair, keep your own hair. Europe woman will not take an African hair and put in her own hair. Why should you like European hairs and it's not your own hair? Why you don't like her own which God gave it to you? God knew why. He, God couldn't make you an African and give you a European hair. How could you look like? That is why God gave you African hair. You are an African. And then keep, it, keep your hair. Yes, keep your hair. Keep your hair complete. And if you cannot complete, tie a scarf. There are many designed to tie scarves and they are very nice. Nice modern. Or you cut them shortly. There are women, they walk also when they cut their hair. They say it is a shame. But it's better you cut it than when you go and put another hair for another person. You don't know this person. Did he die? Do you know that week you are carrying ladies for an old man? Me, I saw it in the in internet too. I saw an old man was going in the temple. In India, they go and cut his hair. Old man, I think he's 70 years old. And you go and give that hair and talk about for that hair. And my sister, you go, you go, you go and buy them and put it on yourself. Do you know you are carrying a, a hair for an old man? You are carrying a hair for an old woman? You are carrying a hair for a mad person? You are carrying a hair for a dead person? My sister, my brother, I was saying it's not only sisters, even brothers. There are many, they put wigs. Look at it very well. Many. Yes, in Africa, in Europe, they, they put, they, they make dress. They make, uh, they, they buy those human hair, they, they fix their hairs. This is Bob Mali, I don't know what they call it. Or Bob, I don't know, I don't know. Yes. So my sister, my brother, leave it though. It's not your own. Remain with your hair. If you can manage to keep your hair, take care, wash it, treat them well, comb them. If you cannot manage it, cut them. Remain with a beautiful hair. Your own hair is beautiful. Your own hair is gloria. It is the temple of your body. It is the temple of your body because it is together with your body. Yeah? Clean yourself to look smart. Be smart. When you are going to the church, you have a natural hair. Yes. God, did, God was not a... Um, um, what, what can I say? God knew what he was doing. 
He said this is an Indian, he have to get this hair. This is an Arab, have to get his own hair. This is an African, have to get, get his own hair. This is an half caste, have to get his, his own hair. So you cannot go and carry somebody and put in your head. Sometimes you get problems in your house, if you are a married person. Yeah, you get problems, you fight with your wife, you fight with your children. It does hair in the head because it's somebody head. Somebody head. Not even hair, it's a spirit. Because the hair, it carry everything. It is in the head now. Because the head, you have eyes, nose, mouth, everything. So that hair is not your, it's not your own. You have to stop it carrying somebody hair. Treat your hair, make your hair to look fine and to look beautiful. African women, they are beautiful. Your hair, African women, your hair, they are so beautiful. Keep your hair. Your hair is beautiful. Don't put this, don't, don't put this with one human hair. Just hear the name of the hair. Human hair. Go and carry somebody here, put it in your head. You are walking in the street, you are feeling fine. You are just walking like this, like this. You say, hey, I look smart. Hey, I have Muzungu hair. I have Muzungu hair. We call it Muzungu in, 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 in Kenya, Swahili language. I have Muzungu, I have long hair. It is not your own hair. It is not your own hair. Remove it. You say, I have a, a, a Nigerian people say, Oibo oh, hair. Yes. You just make it like this. Even even when you sweat, they're just coming in your face. They disturb you. If it's parricade, they will fall down. If it's this way, it is disturbing you. But you like it. But I'm telling you, this hair will take many people in hell. This hair will take many people in hell. I'm not commanding you. But it is true. It will take many people to hell. Because the more you have this hair... Look at somebody who has those wigs hair or those parike hair. She cannot preach well because the hair is coming in the front and it is clipping. It is coming in the face. You are not setting yourself well. You cannot even tie it well because you want to push it behind. You say, I'm a white woman. How can you be a white woman when you're a black woman? Hey, hey. Yay, Chineke. How can you be like that? Uh -uh. My sister, my brother. How can you be a, a, white, a white man when you are a black <laughs> no, it is not working like that. I'm sorry for that too. Remember the way God made you and be happy for that. Because God knows that he made you like that. Those hair, leave it. My sister, my brother, leave it. It is an evil hair, a satanic hair. It is true. Even your husband himself, when he see you are beautiful walking in the street with him, you are in the church having this long hair, you say, I look smart, I look smart. When you come in the house, you remove that hair, you, you, how will you look like? You don't have your own Africa hair because that hair has spoiled your own hair. Because it was too warm, it is cutting the African hair going, so it's finishing. It is cutting. If you see this, this side, there is no hair. This side, no hair. And when you remove that hair, you look ugly again. And you have your own hair. It's better you keep your own hair when it starts to grow and to remain growing. But if you put this weak hair, this weak hair also chop your own hair. It's so wicked because it's satanic hair. It chop your own hair. You get your head. No hair. Hey, you quarrel with your husband. You look different person. Don't look like before. So you will sleep with that hair. That hair is too hot. Oh. Because me, I know those time I was in the world. I thank God for that because uh, I'm no more putting those hair. So my sister, my brother, that was the word of Lord today, which the Lord tell me to preach. And uh, may God forgive me if I've talked something wrong, but my sister, my brother, that is true. The hair for another person, don't put in your head and carry 24 hours. Carry all over the month. Carry three months. You have a hair for another human being. Even you don't know who was he. You don't know what that person, I'm repeating again, who was that? Who, hold that hair and ask yourself, this hair I'm holding now, I am going to saloon. They are going to sew this hair in my head. Who does this hair belongs to? That's a question I leave it for you. Ask yourself and you will get an answer yourself. Is that hair your own or is it for somebody else? Is this person alive? Is he dead? Is he sick? Is he in ward? Is he in mortuary? Or is alive? Who that who is that hair belongs to? Keep your hair, my sister. African women, keep your own hair. Europeans women, keep your own hair. Because even Europeans now they put it their they, those hair again to make it their own to be long. So that they will have long hair. No, 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 no. It's not only African women, even Europeans women. Remain with your own hair. God bless you.
my sister and my brothers, Jesus loves you. Jesus loves me too. That was the preaching for today. May God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you.